Okay. The uh, Prince Guy. That's what I feared. Poor Blort. Okay. Oh, wait. I should have read that. About Lysandus. Um. Well, I did read it. I'll, I'll pause the screen and read it later. <laughs> Check the description below for whatever thing I missed that was probably important. Oh, did I just refuse the award, too? Oh, well, I didn't really want a sword. Yeah, whatever. I'll put in the description whatever I was supposed to read that didn't said. I don't know what it said. But well, I'm assuming it was important. Okay. Hello, Hooker. Rags. <laughs> Give a lot of gold just laying around in the garbage. Well, they're all rich people here, right? Makes sense. I get to the depths of this place somehow. Okay. Can I talk to you? Can you tell me about... Okay. No one's going to probably know about the lich that's down in this castle or something. Or at least, very least, no one's going to be able to talk to me about him. Or talk, yeah, talk about him to me. The guard. One of those useless guards just stands there with a spear and doesn't do anything as I kill all the other guards. I like those kinds of guards. A guard by the door in tones with a broad, bored voice, all those having business with clean, echo, the griffiki. Pass the door at the back of the hall on the right side. I'm just gonna follow the right side till I find uh, the depths where this, you know, the lich apparently is at the bottom of the mosque or something. How can I help you, kid? Kid? Me egg key? Meg key? Meg key? I don't know. Elevator. Going up, which I think is the opposite direction of where I'm supposed to go. I've been this way before? No. I'm just having a weird moment of deja vu, I guess. What on earth? My word! The Queen sure now how's, knows how to keep company, don't you, Queen? Yes, you do. You're. They're not much to look at. These guys, on the other hand. This guy looks like a... <laughs> I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's Fabio and Isaiah Mustafa. <laughs> they resolved their feud over being the Old Spice guy and came here to work as bodyguards or whatever they are to the Queen. Interesting. Hello, suspicious-looking old man with a Fu Manchu. You can go higher. Excellent. I'm pretty sure I'm going the opposite of the direction I'm supposed to be going. But, eh, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna explore this whole mosque castle thing. It's pretty big. Oh, what the heck? The music just changed to you're now in a dungeon music. I think I've gotten past the, uh, castle-y part, and now what the hell do they keep... They keep centaurs down here? Why? And why does the centaur have boots? Horseshoes I could understand, but boots? Just a little log lying out here. Not a very tidy castle. 
Even the castles and mosques in this game are labyrinths. Nothing we didn't already know, but... You know... I feel like that needs to be reiterated again. The game has an unhealthy fixation with labyrinths, and has thus given me an unhealthy fixation with labyrinths. I wrote a philosophical paper on how to solve labyrinths. Can't put it into effect yet, because... Well, my theories must remain untested, so that, you know, the plebeians don't see. Whatever I mean by that, I, I don't even know. <laughs> You'll find out eventually. Enemies nearby? Ah, huh. huh. nope. Yes, it does. This isn't Tatambu, where the doors literally have nothing to fear for me. What's even the point of locking this door? It's just silly. Oh! Oh, crap. I'm standing too close to do this. Backstab! Uh oh, uh oh. Run! Run, Quicksilver! Yeah! Oh my. That was close. Torgo's toxic is broken? I don't even know what that means. What's Torgo's toxic? Does it have anything to do with this weird sound? Why is there a pig down here? Ah, castle labyrinths. I should stop expecting them to make sense. Just roll with it, you know? The castle's also a horrible hellish labyrinth. And there's a lich somewhere down here, in this horrible hellish labyrinth. And I need to take his ghost or soul or something. Oh! Damn it! You're in my comfort zone. Taking a lot of spell damage. Medical skill improved. Hooray! Well, wait. Looks like there's a door there, but... Well, nothing's opening. It also looks like there's a door here. Hmm. Odd. Oh, let's go away. I haven't gone yet. This way. I'm gonna become horribly lost by the end of this. Backstab! Die, die, die! Ooh. That sounded like an arrow. Being shot. Oh, 
apparently it was the rogue who's dead. I don't know. Barbarian just died. Did they just let any random adventurer come and become a guard here, or what? Loot. What's this do? Shackles? I'm too far away from what? This room's silly. Yep, nothing would be complete without a horrible torture room. horrible torture room. <laughs> Didn't everyone in their grandmother have a torture room of some sort? Haven't been this way yet. Oh, this looks very, um, promising. <laughs> Grairenwaj by whatever. Grairenwaj and the Harpy. On the 12th of Hearthfire, every year the people of the blah 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 spell, um, say, celebrate Rigla Metha. Rigla Metha means. Grateful offering and is a festival of the graces the gods have granted people blazing over the centuries. Tradition dictates that the performance of a number of plays, great moments of Ladi -la -ba past, most popular which Gragam Wedge, which translates to the crows who were punished. I like this. <laughs> the crows who were punished. Or the crows who punish. Well, I don't like that one too much. Stupid birds. Old Red Guard is somewhat vague with the uh, object objective in this case. Story is Grey Wadge, as any large lay child will tell you, is the wicked sisterhood of danger worshippers who craft lies, curses, murders, and suicides to hurt people of Lainlin. Most of all, they use their beauty as a weapon to drive men into mayhem. Their leader of the Tempers, Noctria, and seduces unarmed, unnamed Baron, and is about to force him to commit suicide to prove his love. When the Baroness arrives, the Baroness tricks her into wearing a beautiful white robe in the Baroness's closet. See how the robe glows with the luminescence of the pearl, but inside the feather down. Nocturia puts on the robe, the trap is sprung, the robe is magical, and transforms her into a giant black bird. The Baron, no longer enchanted, slays the giant, giant great black bird, and calls in his cook, his sister, who has, by this time, taken over Lane's castle, turned into an orgy-filled den of decadence. Why is this a bad thing? This is a children's story? There's so many things bad about this. At the height of frenzy debauch, the cook arrives with an enormous roast to keep their energy high. They dig in the deliciously prepared meal at the crescendo, all them goring. The Baron and Baroness appear to tell them that they have just devoured their leader, Noctira. The women scream and claw and suddenly are transformed into the, by the magic of the robe into harpies, vicious half-bird creatures. That's where the harpies came from. Interesting thing about Grey Wajah is the scholarly perspective of how much the stereo changed due to change over the years. Versions, blah 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 blah. The versions change. Harpies have just been burned. They also have two birds to die on. Eh, yeah, whatever. So harpies were prostitutes that turned into bird people after they ate their leader, who turned into a bird. I hate birds, so I kind of like that story. Stupid birds with their mocking me. Always mocking me. Hmm. Either there's a centaur nearby, or someone's having, you know, unscrupulous activities with a horse. 
So I sincerely hope there's a centaur nearby. Oh! Damn you! Damn you! You bastard! I am horribly weak to paralyzing. 